Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing my October TBR. Um, it might be overly ambitious, I'm not really sure. I'm going to keep my October TBR separate from my Spookathon TBR because I do plan on participating in that readathon. Um, I'll leave the information below, but I didn't want to like reiterate or I don't know. I don't want to be redundant and just repeat myself in two videos because I do plan on posting a TBR for that. Um, so, the first book that I want to read in October, or get around to, um, is The Uninvited by Dorothy McArdle. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this book on my channel before. I've tried to read it last year, um, and I was just, wasn't feeling it in the moment. I already know the story. I've seen the 1940-something movie a bunch of times. I used to watch it growing up with my grandma, um, but in this one, a brother and sister, they move into a house and then weird things start to happen. It's like your typical haunted house story. Um, but I never knew that it was a book until last year. So I really want to pick it up and I'm making this year be the year. The next book that I want to read is my next Stephen King, which is The Dead Zone. Um, I don't really know what this book is about. I think some guy has some kind of like psychic premonitions or something, um, but that's all I know. So, yeah, that's, I'm just gonna go into it not really knowing anything, and it'll be fun, I guess. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this one specifically, but I am looking forward to it. The next couple books, I am going to be doing a buddy read with a bunch of people. Um, Alex from Hey Little Thrifter, I'll leave her channel below. She is doing buddy reads of some point horror books, so I'll be reading Trick or Treat by... Richard something I think I can't remember his name and then um, Halloween night one and two which I believe both are by R.L. Stein maybe I'm drawing a blank I should have written it down but I'll have pictures up here of course I don't really know what any of them are about but I know it's like young adult campy horror books and I'm really excited to read those and be a part of the group and so they should be fairly quick reads I think they're shorter and since they're for younger audience they should be just easy to get through and I think they'd be of course a fun book to read this time of year. This book I would like to get to is Six Women of Salem. I think I might have mentioned this on my channel before. Um, it's by Marilyn K. Roach. It's a nonfiction book so this is if I am in the mood for nonfiction sometime in the month. Um, I have read other books about the Salem Witch Trials and things of that sort. I just finished one a couple months ago. So um, I've had this one on my shelves for a couple months now and I've been wanting to read it for years. So I might get to it in October if I'm in the mood for it. It's just kind of on my contingency TBR. I make TBRs all the time, but that doesn't mean I stick to them. But we'll see. It says it's the untold story of the accused and their accusers. I don't know what could be untold. <laughs> by now so um but yeah so this is a maybe but it's still on my radar the next book i know i've mentioned on my channel before but it is witch's sister by phyllis reynolds naylor um this is the first in a trilogy it is about um a young girl who believes the old woman down the street is a witch and that she's trying to control her older sister this is a book that i really loved when i was younger so i hope like the nostalgia like holds up for me um, and if I finish this and I really enjoy it, which I probably will, um, I'll probably end up picking the second and the third book up, which is Witch Water and the Witch Herself. Um, but I'm really looking forward to revisiting this because it has been a very, very long time since I originally read it. Um, but it's just, I like nostalgic things, so I'm really looking forward to this one. The next book I want to read is Castle Door, I think that's how you pronounce it, not sure. But it's by Arthur Quiller Coach, Couch, Arthur Quiller Couch, and Daphne du Maurier. Um, basically, this Arthur guy, he passed away and didn't get to finish the novel, and I believe his daughter passed it along to Daphne du Maurier, and she finished it. Um, I really like this cover, and... Um, Bree from Bree Hill, she runs like, she has a YouTube channel, she has a blog, and then she has um, her Instagram, I'll leave that linked below, where she really focuses on romance and stuff, and she was showing like a ton of pictures of like gothic romances lately, um, over the past few months, so I 
really wanted to pick up some of mine that I had and I have like a relatively large Du Maurier collection ish but um this is a fairly short one so I was like I was just in the mood for something like gothic so um I think this one it's about a couple who uh it says they were young and very much in love following where their passion led and ignoring the strange and violent fate that waited for them in the ominous shadows of castle door so it sounds good. I'm excited. Sorry my dogs are running around right now. <laughs> you can hear them. The next book I want to read, I put it on hold at the library not thinking that I would get it so fast. So it looks like I'm going to try to read it in October. But that is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is very popular right now or has always been popular on booktube. And then like the next one is coming out or is out. Um, so but... I feel like this might be a book that I DNF because I hear a lot of people talking about like how it feels like like a modern day fairy tale and if you're not into like the flowery ridiculous writing you probably won't like it um, and although I do like that sometimes I'm really picky about it so we'll see um, it's young adult right so I'm or I think it's young adult is this middle grade I don't know it'll probably be a fast read um, but I don't want to hold it up at the library. I don't know if I can renew it, but I think I have it for three weeks. So we'll see if I get to it. Next one is another young adult. It is Strange Grace by Tessa Gratton. Um, I guess this is about a cursed town, maybe? I don't know. I don't, I'm not prepared for this video. Um, but I read the synopsis a while ago and then put a hold on it because I wanted it and of course everything comes through at the library at the same time. All I want to do is read all the things right now so I'm just like scrambling. Um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I feel like this is already an ambitious TBR considering I'm going to be doing a readathon during October as well. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, I think maybe it's about a cursed town. A village made a bargain with the devil. Sounds good to me. Um, I haven't seen a ton of people like reviewing it. I've seen like a lot of people excited for it to come out, but I don't know. We'll see. So that's my TBR for everything outside of the Spookathon. It is overly ambitious. Um, right now, I'm currently reading Vengeful by, by V.E. Schwab, um, but what is today? I'll finish this by the end of September. I'm over 250 pages in, so I plan on finishing this this weekend. Um, I'm really enjoying it though. I really like V.E. Schwab. Um, I'm going to try to give her other stuff a go, but yeah, we'll see. Let me know what you're reading in October. If you're participating in any of the readathons, there's like a million in October. Um, but I'm I'm sticking with Spookathon. I don't think I'm going to do any other ones. Um, but let me know what you're reading. Let me know what's going on. If you have any exciting Halloween plans, um, yeah. And I'll see you in my next video.